Goodness gracious, it's been so long. <laughs> right? It's been like seventh grade or something. Man. Okay, so I was asked to speak here today because I have known these students for a very long time. Um, and just thinking about what to speak today, I, I, I was at a loss. I, in fact, if I'm being quite honest, I'm still at a loss. There's so many people to, to congratulate. There's so many things that need to be said. And there's only so, few, there's only so much time that we can say them. Right? I, I really do appreciate Sister Shane saying what she said um, regarding the board members because I can tell you that I'm working closely with them almost every other day. And I do want to <laughs> honor our guest in the back over there, Brother Sadiq, because he has helped me tremendously. I, I do appreciate your patience with me because I put him through so much um, when it comes to updating this website, uh, sending him pages and pages of things to do, and, and he was just so compliant, mashallah. Um, there are so many people that I want to congratulate, um, so many things that I do want to say, but I, I will just say this. Um, you know, brother, uh, about a month and a half ago, when we were talking about this graduation, um, and one of the students came to us, I don't quite remember who it was, one of the students came to us and said something about the graduation. I was there with Brother Jihad, and when the student left, Brother Jihad told me um, that he doesn't want to come to, di to today's graduation. I mean, it goes without saying, I was very shocked. I was just like, you know, this is a day to celebrate. They've accomplished so much. Why would you not want to come? I, I, inside, I felt a little bit offended even. And then he told me, no, it's because it's on this day that we, we say our final goodbye to the students. Um, and I, I was blown away, like subhanAllah. Um, so I do want to say that uh, you've been under our care for so long. You're, you've been under my care for so long um, that for you to just leave in a moment, I can tell you it, it's, it's quite striking, quite shocking, and um, it's a little scary, if I'm being quite honest. Um, but I know that you guys are very, very capable. I've seen you guys grow for so long now. Um, I will just leave you with this one last piece of advice. Rasulullah said um, that if you were to have true trust in Allah, if you were to be truly trusting towards Allah, and I'm saying this because this comes into my mind time and time again. This hadith is like always playing and repeats in my mind. He said, if you were to trust Allah truly, then you would be like the birds. And I know you've heard me say this before. You would be like the birds who they leave in the morning at, they leave at dawn when the sun first rises and they're, they're hungry and they come back at night and they are full. And he said that this is what true trust in Allah looks like. This is what true living looks like. And note, you know, you've heard me say this so many times that the hadith of Rasulullah he says it so few words, but he communicates so much in them that there's such, you know, care in every single word that's placed. And if you notice, Rasulullah is telling us in this hadith that the birds, they leave early in the morning with hunger, which means if they weren't to leave, it would be life and death. That's the situation they're in. They're trusting Allah and they don't have stores of food with them. That's not what trusting Allah means. If you were to trust Allah truly, you would, you would be on, you know, Rasulullah is telling us you would have to work daily to put food in your stomach. That's what true trust in Allah looks like, right? So when you're thinking about going forward, you know something when it comes to teenagers especially, teenagers, they want control over their life. They're constantly you know, fighting with their parents or whatever it is, you want control in your life, but you don't want the responsibility that comes with it. In fact, not you guys, Alhamdulillah, you guys have grown well past that phase, but teenagers when they're younger, um, they, they want all this control and it's as if their parents are behind them with a the dustpan just taking responsibility for every single thing that's going on. And Alhamdulillah, I'm glad, to say that, I'm glad to see that you guys have matured well beyond that point. Um, but now you're at a crossroads in your life where you're no longer under our care. Our teachers who I know they have your best interest at heart, you're no longer under their care. You're no longer under the care of our board. You are leaving this community and we want you to know that it is at this time that you have not just the control over your life, you have responsibility. You have responsibility that's associated with it. And I would remind you that if you are to truly trust Allah, don't expect everything to be perfect. That is what true trust in Allah looks like. Sometimes you will encounter difficulties, but truly trusting in Allah means you face those difficulties. 
And I will conclude with that, inshallah. I feel like I can just go on and on and on, and I have to stop somewhere. So, Jazakumullah Khair. Congratulations again to all the uh, graduates. Congratulations to all the staff members. I know you poured your hearts out for these kids. Congratulations to the board as well. Sister Rashina goes without saying. Um, and yeah, enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Jazakumullah Khair.